After nearly a year of being closed to the public, the Bakersfield Museum of Art will reopen in just a matter of days. Joining us this morning is Executive Director Amy Smith to tell us how they've been doing so far and what we can expect moving forward. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing great. I, I wanna know how are you doing? How are you feeling about reopening after being closed for so long? You know, it has. It's been quite the roller coaster, but we are so excited that we are going to be reopening to members today and to the general public on Tuesday. And I can't tell you, our exhibitions that we have up right now are absolutely phenomenal. And I'm so excited for all of our community to be, to be able to see them. Yeah, can you tell us what are some of those different pieces of art that our viewers can expect to see? Absolutely. Well, the museum changes exhibitions between three and six months every year, so um, they're always changing. But the round that we have right now is we have a beautiful uh, set of uh, work from Linda Christensen. She is a fourth generation Bay Area figurative uh, painter, and uh, she's in one gallery. We also have a uh, notable retired uh, uh, local art educator, Art Sherwin, and his work is up in not only one gallery, but down one hallway. And then kind of our P.S. to result resistance for this year or this uh, this opening is our roll out the red carpet Bakersfield sound, where it's really to celebrate the art and the aesthetic behind the Bakersfield sound, which I know our community should be so proud of. Absolutely. And so we are obviously going to be visiting you. You're reopening still during the pandemic. So what are some of those COVID-19 protocols that people should be expecting? Absolutely. Well, you'll be happy to know that everyone on staff, our volunteers, and then we are going to be asking all of our visitors to wear masks the entire time that they're in the building. Uh, we also have hand sanitizer stations, social distancing markers. We'll be doing a thorough cleaning on a regular basis of the building. Um, and we also have uh, the sneeze guards up at our front desk. So when you're buying fun things from our gift shop or interacting with our front desk staff, you'll be up behind you. Uh, they'll be behind that that clear plastic glass. Okay, and then as we move into lower tiers, are there any future changes or plans that you have for the museum? Absolutely. Um, we are uh, going to be open at 25% capacity right now, um, or on Tuesday, I should say. Um, as as uh, California relaxes those uh, requirements and we're able to reopen more. We're hoping to bring back some of our fun events. We are just finishing up our call to artists for Art Mix Visual Arts Festival. You have until April 1st to be able to participate if you are a, a local artist and would like to submit work for that. Uh, we're really hoping to bring back our Art After Dark programs very, very soon because that's one of our most popular events every year. And we have been doing, we started last uh, week or last month with our second Saturday programs and we had 108 people People come and visit our sculpture gardens last month so we're hoping we'll be able to double that number for uh, April's. That all sounds so much fun. I'm so excited for all these changes. I just have one more question for you. What are you hoping that people take away from coming back to the museum after such a long time? Well, I have to honestly say that this has been a difficult experience for everyone, but we've all shared it together. And the museum has been uh, with our community through this, this whole uh, last year. We did our Chalk Your Walk programs. We've uh, offered lots and lots of uh, virtual uh, education opportunities that are on our website, and those will continue. And we just don't want anyone to forget that art is not canceled. And we really think it's important that our community embrace the Museum of Art and the activities that we provide there. So we really hope everyone will come out and uh, join me if you're a member today and, and if you're part of the, our, our regular supporters um, or on Tuesday for the general public, we'll be open starting at 10 a.m. Art is definitely not canceled. Well, thank you so much, Amy, for joining us today. Best of luck with reopening. We're excited for you guys. Thank you so much. I'm heading there now. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>